Hi, good morning. Um, today we are going to see again a problem based on Singapore math. Uh, this problem is suitable for grade four. The topic is whole numbers. And to classify the problem before we start solving it, we see that this problem is about they start with equal quantities. Let's see what that is, right? First, let's go to the question. Gabriel and Kevin had an equal amount of money. So when they begin at the start, the quantities of money with Gabriel and Kevin are equal. After Gabriel sent, spent $48 and uh, Kevin received $12. You see here, Gabriel is spending $48, which means he's losing $48 or giving away $48. Kevin receiving $12. Then Kevin had four times as much money as Gabriel. How much money did each of them have at first? So first take the first statement. Gabriel and Kevin had an equal amount of money. So we are starting with equal. Gabriel's money is represented by this one box here. So Kevin, because he has an equal amount of money, is represented by another box of the same size. Now. We see that after Gabriel spent $48, Gabriel is spending $48, this $48 is gone from Gabriel. And Kevin received $12. So in addition to whatever money Kevin had, he is receiving another $12, which is with him now. And this $48 is not with Gabriel, he has spent it. But in comparison, you see here when you compare the sizes of this this and this are of equal size so this size here if it is equal to this the value of that should be $48 All right so this money yeah the Gabriel has spent $48 but we use that as a reference to find out how much was this this total amount here is going to be equal to $48 plus twelve dollars which is equal to sixty dollars so that's this whole thing so from here to here it's sixty dollars and after all this happened Kevin had four times as much money as Gabriel as usual Gabriel comes after as much money as as many as or as much as he comes after that, so Gabriel is our reference. So whatever Gabriel has will become as taken as one unit. And Kevin has four times as much. So Kevin should have four units. So Gabriel's one unit is this size. So you can look here, Kevin's one unit is this size. And the remaining has to be split into three of the same size. And in this scenario, we know that these three units is equal to $60. So, and one unit is equal to 60 divided by three, which is $20. So now let's look at how much money did each of them have at first? Let's look at Gabriel. Gabriel had whatever one unit now that he has plus he had $48. So I'm just going to say Gabriel had one unit plus $48, which he doesn't have now, but at first he had. So that's $20 plus $48, which is equal to $68. Normally, uh, if you're using a pen and paper to solve this, after the first initial steps, we could have drawn another model for this particular diagram here which shows that Kevin has four units, Gabriel has one unit. We could have drawn another model and then solved the problem. I hope it was clear. Uh, this, take a look at the question. You always start a question or uh, start solving it from a point where you have some reference. Uh, and the reference here is very clear. Gabriel and Kevin had an equal amount of money at first, so that's, we can start from there. If you have any queries, do 
post your questions on the comments section. I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.